How do you stay relevant on Twitter? Uh, like a lot of people I've seen, I've been blessed by God, I guess, like people actually vibe with the content that I put out. So like overall, over the last like couple of years, I just, I keep getting, like as I've lost I'm on my third Twitter account. The first one was my mistake. The second one was just some random, I tweeted something that the algorithm, I guess, didn't agree with, which is why I'm more family friendly now. So I, I would never <laughs> talk about this, this certain shot. I'll never talk about any of that stuff because I'm not losing this one again. But, uh, People overall have stayed like relatable to my content and my content stayed relevant because it's connected directly to my own pro progression as a man. So like as me, I'm traveling the world. I, I used to be the travel guy. Then I became, okay, now I need, I see the importance of having a home base. So I'm setting up a home base here in Paraguay. I'm also setting one up in Dubai. I already have one in America, but I'm not going to be traveling there anytime soon. So now I'm becoming more so, or I guess less of the travel guy and more, okay, it's cool to live abroad, leverage the US dollar over weaker currencies, but you need to stop just traveling, going here and going there. You need to actually build up a home base, have a network. Here, I've got I've got this place basically on lock. I'm not like to the highest levels, but I can basically make anything happen that I need to. Why? Well, because I've spent the money, I've spent the time meeting the people. Whenever I go out, I'm dressed up well. A lot of the other Americans here, uh, the, the UK guys are even worse, but they literally, they just look like slobs and they're super disrespectful. I go around, I'm dressed up well. I shake people's hands. I'm nice. I'm kind of all that type of stuff. So now I'm teaching people how to like actually go out and network and build up a home base. Uh, and from a freelancing perspective, I'm now starting to pivot my content away from just the beginner people and talk to the guys that are already on the path. And here's how you amplify it. So what tips, because like I said, you're when it comes to Twitter, like I can't even compare. Like I'm a level 10 of a thousand versus you when it comes to like understanding Twitter. How have you been able to stay so relevant like from when you got started to where you're at now and wherever you're going to take yourself? Interesting. I never particularly thought about this. I just made content that I found useful in my life. Mm -hmm. For example, if I learn something from you, I will probably tweet about it. Like, you know, this is something I learned, mm -hmm. etc. So that's just my content. I would say that the best way to stay relevant is to keep learning more about what you're talking about and not be stagnant. Because if you're stagnant, then your content will not change over time. You will not mature as a person. And then someone who has to learn from you has already taken everything there is to be taken and then you're no longer relevant so if you're not improving then you are going to be stagnant so it, i would say that like, it's about improving or about being very interesting and i'll give you an example of that once when i was traveling i met this guy he lives in a van he doesn't have a house he lives in a van and he just travels here and there and that was so interesting to me and i told him like i asked him like how do you make any money and he told me that he has a youtube channel where he makes content about his life, him traveling in a van. And mm -hmm. this was a long time ago. I don't remember what channel it was. But the reason people are watching him is because he's interesting, right? He's going from place to place, etc. But now if he was just in one place, let's say he decides to build a house and he's like talking about, I'm in one place forever. And I'm going to talk, keep talking about this one place. At some point, people are going to get bored of that. So it's about being interesting or about constantly getting better at what you do for example if you're tweeting about cooking you want to learn extra dishes that right? you want to try new things share new tips etc if you're cooking only one thing let's say you're making omelette and every single day you're tweeting about how to make omelette then you know it's like people are gonna get bored of that no one cares about omelette that much bro <laughs> but if every day you have a new recipe or you're sharing some tip that you learned i don't know i'm not into cooking but you know put the salt first and then cook it etc versus putting the salt later mm -hmm. then i bet your content will stay relevant people will like you more and then you can even reuse your older work because your audience will keep growing so they haven't seen your previous stuff so for them even the previous stuff is new so you'll have like a good cycle going mm -hmm.